Editing charts with Stage Right Anywhere is easily done by utilizing the tools found across the main menu on the screen. The lock icon allows you to jump from chart to chart or from scene to scene by using the buttons above or on the iPad by swiping forward or backwards. The view icon allows you to look at the charts or the script where you can import a PDF of the script and make notes and cues. You can also choose to look at your charts and script together and link them together by selecting a section of the script and dragging the corresponding chart into your selection. By doing this you'll be able to switch back and forth between script and charts. Use the plus symbol to add another chart to your production. Adding a duplicate chart creates an exact duplicate of the existing chart, while adding a next chart copies only the positions of the scenery and the actors so you can move them to their next positions. While adding a blank chart copies only what's on the permanent layer to create a brand new chart. The zoom function allows you to get a closer look at your production space by choosing your level of magnification and then by holding down control and clicking around or on the iPad by using two fingers you can navigate around the space. Every production is divided into two different layers. The scenic layer allows you to place the scenery and props into their positions on the stage and it's kept separate from the performer layer which also allows you to move the actors and performers into their positions on the stage. The shape tool allows you to add different shapes to your charts, circles, squares, triangles, arrows of all kinds, lines, curtains, and even freehand drawn objects. The set piece tool allows you to place objects from the existing catalog or items that you've created or imported onto your stage. Text boxes and notes can also be placed on your chart simply by adding the information and dragging the text box, resizing it wherever you want it to be. You can easily edit the content and place it anywhere on the chart. The actors are waiting in the green room until you need them. Just tap on them, they show up center stage, and you can drag them to their position on stage. The Undo and Redo button are helpful features of editing, and the Edit Bay, which is found at the bottom of the screen, can be hidden or shown by tapping this button here. Your work can be saved and synced on the web here, PDFs can be printed, and you can work on your settings here. Help and tutorials can be found here. At the bottom of the page, the edit bay allows you to edit any of the selected items on your chart. You can cut, copy, and paste those objects. By copying and pasting this performer, for example, you can select all three, group them together, and move them as a group to maintain their formation. You can also edit, delete, or clear any selected items. Every object placed on a chart is stacked into its own layer in the order it's placed onto the chart. When objects overlap, you can change the order of the stack by pressing layers and by sending that object either towards the top or towards the bottom of the stack until it appears the way you want it. The rotation tool allows you to rotate objects on your chart by 1 degree, 10 degrees, or 90 degrees to the desired angle. And you're on your way.